Hi, here I'm gonna show you an easy but effective way to build an oxalic acid evaporator that works with a heat gun. All you need is a one and a quarter inch copper elbow, a one and a quarter inch piece of pipe, which is approximately inch and a quarter long. Also, you need a half inch galvanized tea, two end caps, one for each end, a uh, copper coupling, half inch, threaded on one side and soldered on the other side to a half inch copper pipe, which is approximately 13 inches long. Now, the way I did this is, with a grinder, I cut this shape here. I'll show you what, what the reason for that. These, this piece of pipe is soldered to, uh, to the elbow. Also with the grinder, I cut grooves on one end of the T, which is gonna be the bottom of the evaporator. Now there's about seven grooves as you can see. There's no sequence to them and also with the uh, with the grinder I cut, a, I made a cut right below the top lip of the of the T and that goes all the way through to the inside of the T. Now, this end cap is the top part, this is where the oxalic acid goes in. These two are tightened all the way in, but don't use any, uh, any uh, thread compound, since it get, this gets real hot and the thread compound will melt and release toxic fumes. Also, when you're using the grinder, use eye protection since there's gonna be uh, flying the metal and now the way this works is this goes right in here now this fits exactly in it's not tight but it's almost perfectly perfectly inside the, the pipe so the reason for the uh, for the grooves is so that when the heat gun is blowing air, the air will be able to come up through these grooves as it's inside, it comes up to the top part, goes in through the uh, through the uh, cut at the top, and this will be tightened and tightened in well, after you put the oxalic acid, acid inside. The air blows in through here and as the uh, oxalic acid starts heating up and me melting the smoke comes out through the end of this pipe. Now this, this I, I put it in, this is gonna stay in permanently in. You don't have to take it out in and out, I took it out just to show you how it's done. So I bend, I bend these two ends in, that's, that's one, they don't have to be tight, there's gonna be some hot air from the heat gun coming up through here but that doesn't do any, any harm. So that's how it goes and I'm gonna give you a small demonstration just to see to show you how it works I'm not gonna give it a full dosage just enough oxalic acid just to show you how it does work so this goes in here
Tighten this by hand. Now this, what I do is I turn, I put the heat gun in. Uh, what I also do, I just bend this end here, as you can see, it's not uh, rounded all the way, it's bent in. The reason I do that so that it goes firm inside the end of the heat gun, that way it doesn't wobble. That. Now, the way I use it is, I put this, I, I start running it, to turn it on, as soon as the smoke starts coming out, which takes approximately a minute to a minute and a few seconds, that's, uh, that's to give it time enough to, for the azelic acid to start melting. And I put inside the, uh, the entrance of the hive with a wet cloth so that it blocks the, uh, it doesn't allow the smoke to come out from through there. The smoke will run out of the end of the pipe. It goes inside the, uh, the hive, disperses through the hive and then you'll see it coming up through the top of the hive. And I let this running for about 10 to 12 minutes to make sure that all the oxalic has it melted and, and uh, evaporated. Okay, we'll start it now. As I said, it takes approximately a minute to a minute and a half for the oxalic acid to start melting in here. Now, when you're doing this, make sure you don't touch these components here. This gets extremely hot and that can give you a severe burn. Um, now, if you're doing a second treatment, right after the first treatment, what I do is, I grab it from the end of this pipe here. This is the, will be the coolest part. It's not that cool, but make sure you have gloves or something. And I dunk this part here into cold, cold water for only a few seconds. Don't want it to stay in too long, because you don't want it to, co to be cool all the way. The reason for it, you don't want to cool it all the way, is so that when you take it out of the water, you open this and any, any water inside will evaporate with the heat that's left in the metal. So here it goes, as you can see, it started, uh, the smoke started coming out. So as I said, I'll leave that inside the hive running for 10 to 12 minutes. And that's all, that's all it is. Uh, it's easy to build and very effective. I used it many times and I found it very effective. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks and bye for now.